In this video, you will learn how to sync data between MySQL Server and Amazon Redshift. In order to use this pattern, go to the Patterns catalog and find the pattern in the Project folder. Once you have found the pattern, select it and it will appear on your canvas. Before you start using this pattern, you'll need to download the last modified JSON SIF file via the SnapLogic community. Once you have done that, go ahead and extract it and upload it to the project you're using to save this pipeline. In this case, go to the last modified date snap. On the file field, it'll ask you to upload the last modified JSON file. Once you have uploaded, close the window, click on save and close. Then you'll want to go to the MySQL read snap, go over to the account tab, either add an account or select a MySQL account that's already on file, then save and close. Then go over to the Redshift bulk update snap, go over the account, also add a Redshift account or select one that's already provided for you and close. Now let's move over to the MySQL read snap and let's configure the settings. You'll want to add a label name, a schema name, a table name, and also find the where clause. Once you have done that, go ahead and save it and close. Let's go over to the Redshift snap and add same thing, the label, the schema name, the table name, and also the key column. Save and close. Once you have done that, go ahead and validate. Once the validation is complete, you can go ahead and execute the pipeline. As data is moving through and syncing, the pipeline will turn yellow and once it turns into dark green color, it means that the pipeline has been successfully executed. Your data has been synced between MySQL and Redshift. Thank you for watching this video. And for more information, please visit community.snaplogic.com.